In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a Blood Angel Space Marine in a really quick and effective way so that you can get them on the table in no time at all. If this is your first time on the channel and you haven't done so already, then please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified of all my videos. Welcome to the Blood Angels video. So we'll get cracking in a minute. First thing I want to do though is just talk you through a fantastic tool that Games Workshop give us so we can get a really good head start and that is Mephiston Red Spray. So you can see this guy's red before we've started. What I've done is I've used some Mephiston Red Spray, popped it all over and I've got my base coat down already and that makes it really easy to paint this model up quite quickly, but also quite effectively, not having to worry too much about some of the mistakes that we might make as we go through it. So we're gonna do the armor last. The first thing we're gonna do is block in, or block in even, all the black areas. So I'm just using some of bad and black. And uh, now this guy's a sergeant, so he's gonna have the black insert on the shoulder pads. So just work your way around there. Take your time and make sure to get it all in. I've watered my Abad and Black down a little bit. So you can see there it's not covering superbly well. That's okay. We'll do two, t two thin coats to make sure that um, we get some nice coverage and we're not actually throwing the paint on too thick. So I've used some Death Company parts on here as well. So we've got the Power Sword shoulder pad as well. Uh, so in terms of what we're going to do with bad and black, we're going to do all the packs on the back, the leather on the belt. It'll make it stand out nicely against the red. So I'm going to carry on doing the black. Got the holster there to do as well. And we'll come back and then we'll highlight it. And one more thing, don't forget all the joints on the armour as well. And any mistakes you make, don't worry too much because you can just go and fix them with some of Fist and Red nice and easily later on. Once we've got all the black done, just want to go in and highlight it. So I'm going to use Mechanicus Standard Grey for this. And make sure you haven't got too much on your brush. And all we're going to do, just follow the shape of the model, shape of the sculpt. Just take your time, make sure you get all those edges that you want. Now I'm just going to do the one highlight and the Canica Standard Grey. If you want to give it a little bit extra, you can do. Just use some Dawnstone just to do the kind of sharpest edges. That'll look pretty good. Um, when it comes to the shoulder pads, just want to pop in a, just a line highlight down there. It's really important you've got a good edge on your brush for that. If you do go a little bit off course then you can just go back in with some of bad and black just to tidy up the line. And of course the last bit we've got to do is just the chest eagle here. So we'll pick up those lower portions. So what I'm going to do is for the harder kind of areas such as the chest eagle, the shoulder pad, I'm probably going to give it that extra highlight just to make it pop a little bit more so I'll get that set up on the palette I'll come back and show you how to do it now so just take your dawn stone your brush again you don't want too much on your palette water it down a little bit and then make sure you've got a good nice point on your brush I'm just going to do this on the kind of the harder areas so we've got the shoulder pad there and we've also got the chest eagle it's just a nice way of making the harder areas just that little bit more alive 
and kind of representative of the fact that they are a harder material. Just work your way around once you've got all those edges there. We'll go and have a look at the next colour and I think we'll start lining the armour in. Lining the armour is pretty easy. We're just going to take some wildwood contrast paint. Um, also I'll show you just here on the knee. I'm using this neat. Again, that's because if we make any mistakes then we can just go in and tidy it up with Mephisto Red. So just work it into the joints. And as it dries, it'll pull away from the edge and just dry into the middle of the joint. So it's nice and straightforward. Give you some nice shadow in there as well. So I'll just show you some more on the back of this grief here. We're going to do this around all the kind of armour joints where we've got armour panels meeting. Nice and straightforward. Any mistakes you can fix them with my fist and red. So I'm going to go ahead now and finish off the rest of this armour lining. I'm going to fix any mistakes before we come back on cam. And the next thing we'll have a look at is some of the metallics. Now all that lining's done, you can really start to see the shape of the armour panels popping out. So. Let's do some metallics. We're going to use a little bit of lead belcher. And I'm kind of looking around the model, and actually, there's not a huge amount of areas to actually use it. So, we've got the helmet here. So, we've got the, the, the pipes on the helmet just there. We've got the uh, button on the belt, the clasp. We've got the handle on the bolt pistol, of course, just there. And then we've got the exhaust ports on the power pack. So like I said, there's not a huge amount of silver on the model. So I'm going to go around and, and base all the silver that I can. And then when we come back, we'll uh, shade and highlight it before we have a look at doing the gold. Once the lead belch is dry, you just take some nylon oil. And this is nice and straightforward in terms of covering all the kind of silver areas. So go over the power sword. If it pools in there, we'll just go in there. Take some of that out, just to make sure we can see the silver in there, just like that. And then just work your way around the other bits that we've got on the back. So we've got the bolt pistol handle, we've got the metallic on the helmet, and then we've got the vents on the on the power pack. So I'll just go ahead and finish the rest of these, let that dry, and then we'll highlight them up. Let that null oil dry, and then just take some chrome from Vallejo Model Air. And we're just going to use this to highlight some of it. So where we can use the shape of the model just like that. Nice and straightforward you get a nice sharp highlight. That similarly here on the helmet and the belt. Now for the sword Want to move it along the edge, make sure that the power rod gets a highlight as well. And just make sure you've got a decent point on your brush so that you can highlight this inner line as well. Just take your time and work your way through. That's a nice highlight on the power sword then, before we worry about going in and uh, getting a bit of a glow on it. So 
I'm just going to finish off now, just put some more uh, bits of chrome where I think uh, the model will benefit from it. I'll do the other side of the sword and then we'll do the gold next. For the gold, we'll use Retributor Armour. So we've got the ornate kind of angel wing guard on the uh, on the sword. So you want to get all that covered in retro drama, taking care not to get it anywhere else. We've got the back of the pommel here, so we we'll do that in gold. And then we've got the decoration on the shoulder guards. We've got the gem and the blood vial. Let's just take your time. Work your way around. So if you do make a mistake, you can just go and cover it up with some bad and black. There we are. And on this model, is uh, it's a sergeant, so the helmet's got a, a little skull on it as well. So we'll just do that in gold to uh, mark his rank. So I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the gold. We'll come back and we'll shade it and highlight that. Once that gold is dry, just take some Reichlin Flesh Shade and just work it all the way around. It's nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Just be careful not to get it on areas that you've uh, you've already painted. And then once that's dry, we'll come back and we'll uh, give the gold a little highlight. To highlight the gold, just going to take some Liberator Gold. I'm just going to run it along these edges. Well, the thing with Liberator Gold is not a massive colour shift, but it's a really nice subtle shift. And where you can just use the shape of the model. So I'm just going to run that up there, across the top, and then a little bit on the skull there. That's the gold highlight done. So next up we'll do the wings and the scroll work, and we'll do the paper on that parchment. Um, and we're going to use some contrast paint for that because it's a really quick way uh, and fits nicely with the style of the rest of the model. So I'm going to go and get that set up on the paddle, we'll uh, palette. We'll come back and get that done. So the colour we need for this is Wraithbone. So I'm just going to paint this onto the parchment of the purity steel here. Just take your time, be careful not to put it on the part you've already painted. And you are painting onto the darker layer underneath. <laughs> Just laughed at myself and saying be careful. I just uh, made a mistake. It's not an issue. You can just move it away. If it's dry, just take a little bit of the fist in red and just work it over. Problem solved. So the other parts that I want to get the wraith bun on as well are on this shoulder pad here. So we've got the scroll work. So I'm going to work Wraithbone all over that, and I'm also going to work it over the uh, the angel wings here as well. Because what we're going to do on the sergeants, on a Blood Angel sergeant, the uh, iconography is yellow. So they have a black insert to their pad with yellow wings, or a yellow chapter badge. So just work this over, and you can see this is definitely going to need two coats might need even need three but i think two should be fine so just carry on work your way around get that into a nice solid coat and we'll come back and we'll uh, color it in one hit with some contrast paints first color we're going to use is a yandan yellow i'm just going to pop this onto the molding on the shoulder pad just want to paint this over all the wreath bone. And then we let it dry. So now you see it nice and straightforward, a nice bright yellow Blood Angels insignia. So we let it dry, and if we need to touch up around it, we will. 
and when we that's dried we'll come back and we'll do the scroll and the wax uh, not the wax sorry the paper on the purity seal now that the the yand and yellow is dry just so want to take some skeleton hoard and work this over the scroll work just on here and on the parchment attached to the purity seal just let that dry don't want to put too much on just enough to stain the model really get into those recesses let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at painting um, the purity seal the gems and the eye lenses so next up we'll paint the purity seal wax um, we'll also paint the this gem here and I'll go and do the other ones off camera so to start off we just want to take some Caliban green and just cover this over the wax part of the purity seal again be really careful take your time not to get it on any of the red armor but again if you do just go back in with some of fist and red to to tidy it all up for the gem what we're going to do is we're going to take the caliban green and just move it like that so it takes over a about three quarters of the gem surface itself. So next up, just take a little bit of warpstone glow. And we've got two things to do with this. The first thing we're going to do with the warpstone glow is we're going to highlight the wax part of the purity seal, just like that. And the other thing we're going to do with the warpstone glow is we're just going to do a a wrong way round J. So if you think of the letter J, we're going to just pull this down and then just around like that there. It's nice and straightforward. Then take some moot green. And we're going to do the same sort of thing on this gem. Just like that so that's now drying the last thing for the gem is to take some white scar and you just need a very small amount of white scar make sure you've got a good point on your brush I'm just gonna tap one two dots on that side and there we go that's the gem done and the purity seal so what I'll do now is I'll do um, Caliban green on the screen and on the eyes and I'll do that gem on the sword as well and then once that's finished we'll come back and we'll have a look at the wings on the hilt moving on from the green let's have a look at the wings on here so the color we want is Corax white all we're going to do is we're just going to paint it on. Take your time. Make sure that you don't go over anything you've already painted. So I'll finish this off cam. If you do need to do a second coat, then I'd expect you may need it in some places. And then we'll come back and we'll get it shaded and highlighted and then we'll have a look at the red armor and we'll be pretty much done in terms of the face i've got a painting tutorial up already for that so i'll put a link to that in the cards so you can go and watch how to paint the face separately once you finish this one of course um, so i'll finish off this white and we'll come back and we'll shade it once that corax white is dry just going to take some apothecary white contrast paint and we're just going to paint that over the wings again be careful not to get it on anything that you've already painted a different color to the white this is really simple and straightforward so 
There we are, let that dry and I will come back and highlight it. When that apothecary white is dry, I just want to take some white scar, just edge highlight the wings. Just take your time doing this. I say that with every stage, don't I? Take your time, but it really is better that way. because you make less mistakes, so you'll end up being quicker in the long run anyway. So that's that bit there done. The next thing I want to do is the the sword. And I want to do a bit of a, a glow around the power node. So to do that, I'm using fluorescent green from Vallejo Model Color. And this is one of those really straightforward things where you just paint it on. So, just paint it on there and work it down the sword, and the same on this side here. So it's just got a green power glow on it. So what I'll do is let that dry and see how glowing it looks, and then we might go in and add a, another coat to it. We'll see. Let's we'll leave that for now, and then we'll uh, make a start on the red armor next. Here we go with the armor then. So the first color we're gonna use is Evil Sun Scarlet, and we're gonna use this to do the first edge highlight. So all you wanna do is you wanna work your way around all the edges on the model. Take your time when you come to bits you might need to freehand a little. Where you can, use the shape of the model like that it just makes it that much easier to get that first highlight in. So you want to work this all the way around the red armour, including the helmet on his belt, knee pads, where you've got the extra armour on the knees, you can just follow the, follow the design there nice and easily. So take your time, work your way around all of the armour panels on the model and we'll come back and we'll give them their next highlight. Next up we're going to work some Troll Slayer Orange in a kind of a finer highlight over that Evil Sun Scarlet. So with this we just want to catch the sharpest parts of the armour because we don't want the armour to go too kind of orange knit shading. So again, use the shape of the model where you can. So I'm just kind of looking to pick out those highest points with the orange. So work your way around. Remember, less is always more. You don't want to be putting it on every kind of armour, uh, sorry, every sharp edge, because otherwise you'll have a very kind of orange looking blood angel. And what we want is something that transitions between them. So work your way around the rest of the model. I'm going to work my way around the rest of this. And we'll come back, we'll put one more spot highlight on the armour, and then that's the marine itself done. Now with the helmet, as the blood angels, they've got different colour helmets. So their assault troops wear yellow, their uh, heavy troops devastators wear blue. So if you do want to paint or learn how to paint those colours for the helmets, then I'll put some links to my videos in the end screen, which are Imperial Fists and Ultramarines, and I'll show you how to paint those colours. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the rest of this. We'll do one more little dot highlight on the armour to make it, to really set it off, and then this guy's done. So the last little bit on the armour, and this really is a little bit, just take some Cadian Flesh Tone, and you just want to, Put a tiny amount, very thin lines, dots almost. So see, that's a little much. But just where the armor is the absolute sharpest, just to set off the reflectiveness 
or implied reflectiveness of the hard edges. So work your way around, do those little bits, and then this is the Blood Angel done. So there we have it, this Blood Angel is done, looking great and ready for battle. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, then please leave a like and a comment down below. And if you want to support the channel, then please consider using some of the links in the description. They do help me, it doesn't cost you anything extra, it just means I can keep making my videos for you. Thanks for watching again, I'll see you next time.